saw that emperor phone call sketch, which is where it all began. You wrote it. Um, <laughs> wait, wait, really? Was that that was the first no, Star Wars sketch you guys ever did on Robot Chicken the, with Palpatine the, after the the it was best the Star Blue second one? one that we did. The but, first um, one was terrible. <laughs> that's exactly what I was gonna say. Um, but yeah, so and uh, we got a call from a woman named Tracy Canobio. That is her real name. Actually works at Skywalker. It's the only place she can work. <laughs> it's amazing. So I, we owe it all to her. And um, she, she uh, calls us up. We, Seth and I see Lucasfilm on the caller ID. We're like, oh, we're getting sued. Um, I pick up the phone. I'm like, hi, Matt in Seth's office. Can I help you? Pretending to be an assistant. And she's like, my name is Tracy Canobio. And I'm like, all right, who's, who, who's messing with me right now? And uh, she said George had seen it, showed it at a board meeting, uh, <laughs> invited us to come up and tour the place. And uh, we went up there, and while I was up there, um, I'll never forget the pitch. We're sitting with all the heads of the company, just joking around. Jar Jar, Jabba, everybody's yeah, there. Everybody, it's crazy. Everybody was in They're the all there. <laughs> and I sit there, and I'm like, you know, I was thinking we should do an all robot chicken Star Wars episode. And Seth, under the table, grabs my leg as hard as he could and steps on my foot. Like I said, the worst thing I could possibly say. Like, how dare I say this? And the reaction of everyone in the room is like, yeah, we should do that. And, I, and then Seth, after like, he's like, I'm so sorry, man. I didn't mean to do it that. It became a pet, a caress, <laughs> and then his hand moved up his thigh. <laughs> that happens every night. <laughs> so, but yeah, it was a, it was a, a surreal experience. And it, it, there's, so George comes in, you're in this beautiful, fancy, you know, room in the big house and there's rock wells and things on the wall. And at like 10 o'clock, the door goes, and George <laughs> comes in, I'm kidding, and I'm not even kidding, it's like, da, 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 da. And he comes and he sits down, and he's like, how you guys doing? We're talking, doing this thing. And then at three o'clock, I believe, after lunch is cookie time. And at cookie time, the door goes, <laughs> and a fucking and someone just comes in with a cookie tray. It's not, and it's not just someone, it's George's personal chef. George, yeah, right, George's personal chef rolls in with, you know, a little Padawan, comes in with the thing, of cookies, and at one point, I remember there was one cookie that was a chocolate chip thing, I went to reach for it, and uh, one of the minions is like, I wouldn't touch it. And I was like, why? It's like, those are George's favorite. <laughs> cool. It was great. I was just like, enough said, man, he gets all the ones he wants. Because I just imagined that moment, of like, who the fuck took my goddamn chocolate chip cookie? <laughs> <laughs> you know? But it was absolutely a dream come true. And then... Then once a week... <laughs> oh, yeah. On every Wednesday, Wednesday, would be uh, George would come down with a huge sack of Star Wars merchandise that they've given him over the course of the week, and he'd just dump it on the table and let us take whatever we wanted. So it was like we were getting toys from our real life Santa Claus. Yeah, it was, and he would just dump it out and kind of just sit there and enjoy that. You know, he just <laughs> dump it on the table, we jackals go at it and stuff. And then I had a, a Wookie thing you push and it just goes like, you know, like does the Wookie thing. George is sitting right next to me, and I broke it. <laughs> and you see this George is kind of going, Jesus Christ. And he pulls, <laughs> he pulls out a pocket knife, like a little Swiss Army leather man, and fixes the fucking thing. <laughs> fixes it. He goes, here you go, try it again. <laughs> Look at this guy. It's crazy. Fixed it. Fuck him. I have a photo of it. It's fantastic. It's George like this, and me just like, oh my God, I messed it up. <laughs> it was the best. Um, Oh, there was one time, like, because you keep wanting... <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, you, I, I, I had to... An infinite amount of you stories. Have, okay, like, so you... Because we were all under NDAs and stuff. I think we still are, but no one's watching. But, <laughs> so, George is sitting there. Everyone, you, you get nervous around George. It's George Lucas. I mean, even... We were there for months, a year or so. You still, every time he comes in, you... Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> so, we're there at uh, lunch. We get to lunchtime, and there's a little cafeteria. It's like the nicest cafeteria on the planet, but you're in this cafeteria line. And George is sitting down, and he's by himself. And I finish first, uh, getting my food. And I'm like, little, little FaceTime with GL, you know? So I go and sit down, and there's nothing to talk about, because it's George Lucas, and he does, you know, a lot. And he's not a huge Garfield fan, so I sit down. <laughs> and, I, <laughs> and I sit there, and I, I say to him, there's this moment where you just kind of like, you know, what do you do? And usually I'm all right on the cuff, but I was like, I go, we're up in, the, up in Marin County. My dad lives in San Francisco. And so you can Google it. And so I go, my dad's coming down tonight. <laughs> and he just goes, oh, yeah? <laughs> it was the saddest 
coolest fucking thing ever. Like, I couldn't talk to him about anything. So, so George Lucas and Michael Keaton. So George Lucas and Michael Keaton don't give a shit about it. <laughs> but then you reminded me that he came in when he, wa he watched an episode of Franklin and Bash while we were there and came in and told me. He kind of sat down and he was like, oh, I saw, your, uh, saw your, your lawyer show the other night. But didn't say positive or negative. <laughs> Just kind of left it out there, you know. Thank you, sir. Is this bad or good? I don't care. Yeah, there's so many. Yeah, and then they burned. Then they then they burned the place down. 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 I don't know what you're talking about. There was a fire at the ranch caused by them. Just saying. <laughs> and it's not like there's expensive art everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Tell him, Matt. No comment. <laughs> hey, Tom. Tell him about the time you Talk burned down Skywalker NBA. Ranch. It was well, without going into details, the lowest, <laughs> the lowest moment of my life. <laughs> Standing outside, watching smoke pour out of the windows. Don't tell this story. <laughs> it was all over the news. <laughs> yeah, it was that third helicopter flying overhead with the spotlight that freaked me out the most. <laughs> the third one? Yeah. yeah. So you guys uh, come to my house and try to burn the fucking thing down, huh? <laughs> Sorry for making all your Sorry dreams Sorry for another true. day when I'm not under a day. Ah. Uh, all right, next question. <laughs>